the glory are yours now and forever. Let us just relax for a moment and bring our attention to the top of our head. Scan our heads, our necks. What we're looking for is any tight muscles, your shoulders. If you come across a tight spot, breathe into it and invite it to relax. Notice the power of your mind over your body. Calmly ask it to relax as you scan through the rest of your body, your arms, the joints in your fingers, your back, your trunk, your hips, seat, thighs, knees, legs, feet, and toes. And just be very grateful for how easy it is to control your body and invite it to relax. With this gratefulness, this appreciation for your abilities, let's focus on our heart. And let's notice it getting warm and soft. And if you can't feel it, imagine it. Know what is happening. And ask that beautiful muscle to relax and let go of any emotions and upsets that it may have picked up over the last few days or weeks or years. You kind of feel a flush run through you, right down and out your feet. That's the heart letting go because you asked it to. Now let's bring our attention to our forehead and our third eye on our forehead, just between our eyebrows and the top of our head, the crown. Both these areas have a slight movement, a slight subtle energy that you can feel moving as you do these exercises. This is where the energy of the divine is always coming in we feel it when we bring our attention to it. Now this is such a high vibration. Very often when we feel it, we want to lift up and go with it. But instead today, we are going to ask that this divine energy, this love of God, helps us settle into our physical being and into our place here on earth so we can do his will attentively and with focus. So let us bring that energy, follow it into our head, into our neck, into our chest. Feel it like it's moving this heavy, strength down into your trunk, down your arms, out your fingers. Actually feel the heaviness of this energy going into your hips, your thighs, ankles, and with your feet flat on the floor, feel it pushing right into your feet and just about six inches into the earth. That's all we need. Let us sit with our connection to the earth and to God all at the same time, which we always are. Let us feel that connection Feel that strength and understand we are here to bring his energy to this earth and to those around us. And we're already connected. 
So let us just sit and listen. Is there something we need to do today? Feel that connection to the earth. Feel the love and the divine flowing through. just going to allow ourselves to feel throughout the day a connection to the divine and to this earth with the knowing that we belong in both places. It is our job to be that channel. And we close this meditation with the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me besides the still borders. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. I guess it was fun. Missed you all these last uh, week and a half. I hope you were meditating without me, and I will see you again tomorrow. Looking forward to it. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.